What's up guys, Frozen Titan here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different on Mortal Kombat 10. Uh, we're going to be starting the story mode. I haven't actually started it yet. I uh, just hit start earlier to um, just check that subtitles are working, check out all the sounds, and just make sure that everything goes well. So, we're going to get into it and uh, experience it for the first time. So, let's go. Millions of years ago, Shinnok. One of the Elder Gods turned on his fellow deities and invaded the Earth Realm. Raiden and the Elder Gods stopped Shinnok, locked him up in the Nether Realm. Others followed in Shinnok's footsteps, like Outworld's Emperor Shao Kahn, who was obsessed with conquering Earth Realm. So Raiden convinced the Elder Gods to enact the Mortal Kombat tournament as a way to even the odds, give Earthrealm a chance. For generations, Shao Kahn followed the Elder Gods' rules. The war moved to the arena, where he sent his toughest fighters to challenge Raiden's greatest defenders in Mortal Kombat. Two years ago, we beat him. But Shao Kahn wasn't ready to lose. He violated the rules of Mortal Kombat and invaded Earthrealm. Most of Earth's defenders, our friends, were killed, turned into evil undead warriors. Despite the odds, we stopped Shao Kahn's invasion. As punishment, the Elder Gods destroyed him. We thought the long nightmare was over, but it turns out that Shinnok had been manipulating events. Shao Kahn's invasion, his death. All part of Shinnok's plan to escape the Nether Realm and resume his war on the Elder Gods. Hell yeah. Dang, this is a pretty long intro. <laughs> I like it so far though. That's pretty badass. Destination, dead ahead. Set her down nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once. Major? All right, you have the rendezvous coordinates, far into the forest. From there, we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple. Where there's an angry former Elder God and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons. Blind guys with magic swords. <laughs> the world has changed. For the worse, if we do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's Temple, he means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not gonna let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the Nether Realm. Looks like we're about to get some action, I hope. <laughs> I'm ready to get into stuff. I think we find his Johnny first. Hello to Scorpion. <laughs> Oh, 
Damn, fuck yeah. Get over here! Oh shoot, okay, so there's like interactive cutscenes. Sweet, I like that. I feel like that read my mind that uh, I wanted to start fighting, so I dig it a lot. Oh, we got a whole day? Or, uh, mash day? Sub Zero. Oh, hit the wrong one. My bad. <laughs> I think this is the like dead version of Sub Zero. We got killed in uh, MK9. Oh shit! <laughs> that distracted me so hard. <laughs> Maybe I don't like these uh, interactive cutscenes so much. Yeah, you punch him out of that uh, helicopter, Johnny. <clears throat> Is he gonna fall off? No. Oh, okay. Just uh, tackle him, you know. Probably about 100 feet. No big deal. Try not to talk too much during the cutscenes, because I know you guys probably want to hear the story and stuff. And I do too, so... I think we're about to fight here, though. I'm going to have to look up Johnny's moves real quick, because I do not know that many of them, to be frank. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? Alright, cool. So, this is like two years after MK9, I think. And then I think it's going to fast forward again after like a little bit of the story because like Cassie needs to be born and whatnot. So I guess probably like 20 years after like what we're doing right here is uh, where the main story is going to start. All right. So back down A is an upbreaker. Down back B is rising kick. Okay. And then, what are his regular combos? XX, XX, A, A, A. All right, my Johnny Cage my, might be pretty bad, but let's go for it. I'm uh, trying to use the D-pad more than um, I've been doing. I've, I've been one of those analog stick uh, noobs for a while, so. And I'm getting my butt kicked. One in doubt, use your x-ray. Especially on characters that you just have no idea what you're doing with. That x-ray is pretty badass though. It's like pretty typical Johnny Cage, so. All right, that wasn't bad. Um, I think with Scorpion, a lot of what you need to do against him is just uh, predict his teleports, so. I'm playing on medium right now. Uh, medium's not too bad. Like, as you can see, I pretty much have no idea what I'm doing as Johnny, and I was still able to win that first round, so. Um, yeah, if you've seen anyone play on very hard yet, though, it is insane. Like, oh man, alright. Nice grab. Get him with an uprack, an upbreaker. I might just spam that, to be honest. <laughs> oh, come on, Johnny. Alright, I got my X-ray out. I'm gonna use it. I think this might kill him. I don't know, we'll see. And the other thing that kind of stinks about story mode is that there's not really, um... Alright, get him with the uppercut. There's not really any fatalities, I think. There's maybe like two or three. That's how it was in MK9. Sonia, get out of there! Ah. 
Oh snap. Sub Zero enters. Okay, going for the crowbar. I like it. That was unpleasantly cold. Alright, so back to back fights. <laughs> Man, my Johnny is pretty bad. <laughs> I learned him a little bit in MK9, but I'm pretty sure I've forgotten like everything I knew then. I'm probably just gonna spam X Ray. I'm gonna be that guy who's just uh, bad at the game. <laughs> I think uh, we don't play too much as Johnny though, so. Don't say I never did anything for you. I do think we have to beat Chinook as uh, as Johnny though. That's another reason to play the story mode, if you aren't really interested in it, is um, to unlock Chinook, you need to beat story mode. And that's the only player that you actually uh, need to unlock, which, I don't know, that's okay. I, I usually like the fact that you have to unlock characters, but they only had Chinook uh, unlock story mode and then uh, Goro was DLC, so. Oh, come on, he did not predict that. Alright, cool. Finish him off with the Nutbreaker. I liked it better when we fought on the same side. <coughs> you okay? We fared better than the men. Add him to the list of things Shinnok will answer for. Sorry, I had to turn my volume up. You might have seen that, you might have not. Not sure exactly. Man, Fujin looks so cool. I wish he like was actually playable in the game. There's like a troll in uh one of Nancy Cage's fatalities that jokes about unlocking Fujin. He's like fully rendered and everything too, which kind of sucks. Like, if you're gonna fully render a character, just add some moves to him too. Raiden's kicking some ass, taking some names. I guess they're just gargoyles, though. Damn. See, Fujin's Rain. such a badass. We must re-fortify the portal's defenses below. No, Fujin. It is too late. That looks like a Quan Chi. Sure is. The mighty gods of Earthrealm. You be foul of these hallowed grounds, Quan Chi. Be gone. Surely you are pleased to see your friends. Striker, Sindel, Cabal. You abandoned them to their deaths. I return them to life. A life worse than death. One you will soon share, and my lord himself shall witness your fall. Yeah, so those are three of the characters that died in uh, MK9. Spoilers, I guess. But I guess they're working for Quan Chi now. Uh, a lot of characters died in MK9, so they'll probably return as kind of like those weird uh, brought back to life guys um, by Quan Chi. Like, uh, that looks like Jax. Yep. So that's uh, Undead Jax and Undead Smoke. Jax. Oh, and Nightwolf, too? 
Damn. Night Wolf. So we good cameos so far? Man, these cinematics are so good so far. This is your last mission, Sonya. Okay, fighting Jax now. I dig it. Punch's best friend. Johnny Cage, killing you will be a pleasure. Oh man. Got us with the ground slam. Jax just does so much like damage. Like I don't know. I kind of want to learn him just because he does so much damage. Like it's just crazy. All right, we're gonna wake up X-ray. All right. Cool. This should kill him, I think. Yeah. Didn't know you were such a fan. Oh wow! Went right into the next round there. Okay. Gotcha. Ow. <laughs> gotcha. Damn, dude. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that is my favorite um, interactable. Probably next to the like huge mace that's in the Quan Chi level. Cause it has that really cool cinematic to go with it. I really like it when he like breaks the branch and you can see it break on their face. We're gonna fix you someday. Well, nice seeing them again. Sonia, that's not him. I don't think Sonya said a word so far. They've just had her kind of like be emotional. Which is kind of weird. Okay, there's a line, but it was kind of like mute. Yes, the elevator. Sento contains the souls of my ancestors. They guide me. Could they hurry the hell up? Found the elevator. Going up. Fall back now. Go on. You guys stay here. Close the door. Oh, I was gonna say, how are they gonna know how to close the door? I thought he was talking about the portal. Oh, yeah. No, they're just gonna explode the entrance. Man, Fujin looks so cool. You see it now, Raiden. Your legacy. 
You poison their hearts with hope. And what do you offer? The same as you did millennia ago, when you betrayed your fellow Elder Gods and attacked Earthrealm. We stopped you then, imprisoned you in the Netherrealm. We will do so again. Remove the shadow from the light. The shadow grows. The legacy of life is death, Raiden. My followers accept this and live on. They fight for me. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh. Oh man, yeah, I used to love that movie, Sindel. They're so good. Set up combos so well. It's like her down back Y. The Jinsei. Oh, I will. And all of Earthrealm will learn the truth of death. <laughs> Johnny saves the day. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Didn't see you there. Miserable wretch! Insignificant speck of feculent scum! How dare you! It's probably the best vocabulary, vocabulary you've heard in a while. That is mine! Ready? As always. <laughs> okay, that was sick. She will be the first to join me. No. Oh shit. He's turning green. I'm not sure what just happened. But I am sure of this. You don't even think of hurting her. Oh shit. All right guys, we are almost 25 minutes into this episode. So that's going to do it for the first one here. I am going to look at Johnny Cage's moves again before the next episode so it's not too terrible. I'll probably rely on the X-Ray again. But show some love for this series, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.